Okay, so I'm in a trade right now. <clears throat> this is going to be kind of a combination of technical analysis and live trading at the same time. Okay, so what we notice is that this actually made a perfect one-to-one -one extension here, right? Perfect. This made waves one, two, three, four, and this is whole the whole five wave structure in here right now. So it's actually beautiful where this one wave, <laughs> literally, it made like a perfect one-to-one -one extension. Let me show you it right we take from up here to down here to here to here and we literally get a perfect one-to-one -one extension right here take a look one-to-one -one, exactly literally dead on so now what i'm going to assume is just a dead cat bounce right here and then so yeah this is i i forgot to say this is now um sunday february 18 it's um, about midnight right now, and we just finished our uptrend. So I'm going to do like a combination of live uh, t live trading and technical analysis at the same time. Usually for our fifth wave, we want to target somewhere like around the 161.8, right? Just around here. But I'm just going to target around the 1300 region right now because, um, yeah, it just makes sense on the top of wave three, right? So if we target it right here right now, that's it's pretty pretty decent target, I have to admit. I mean, we're talking about... Uh, this is the 236 level, I believe. Let's just double check it. 236 right here. Okay. So it's not going to hold. I know it's not going to hold. Like, honestly, you know, the, then what could happen after that is like, we can get maybe like an ABC in here to some reasonable Fibonacci level, I'm guessing, to maybe like 0.5 down here. And then we'll eventually finish our other five wave structure. And most likely, wow, that's crazy. Based on extensions right now, we're going to land like right around 97.50, 10K region right in here. That's pretty awesome, actually. And we just, yeah, that's really awesome. It's really good timing as well. So I'm just waiting to time this right here. And then I'm going to enter. But first of all, we have to understand that um, we're waiting for this uptrend right here. Okay. It's going to do an ABC type of corrective pattern. If you guys notice, it's going up pretty heavily right now, right? Right? Check that out. That's Bitcoin right now. So what I'm expecting is for it to do some sort of ABC for this wave 4 structure right here. Maybe get to about 10,600 to 10,673. And then make one more wave down, okay? I'm playing pretty much every bounce, which is not really recommended for newer traders at all. That's uh, definitely not recommended at all, okay? So now, I'm just going to keep my eye on both of these at the same time, right? <clears throat> That's what I want to do. Let's see if I can get my chart on here as well, actually. So we can just have it on both screens so I don't have to go back and forth. It's very hard to do it on one screen, so sorry about that, guys. Right around here, see we got a one-to-one -one extension perfectly? That's a beautiful thing whenever it happens. I don't think it's going to get higher than, than, or much higher at least. I really doubt it will. I'm going to wait for the ABC, and the ABC will be the very big uptrend, okay? So this is just a very small position that I'm playing right now. I forgot how much I'm playing, um, 15K or something. I'm going to make an easy $100, I'm guessing. So this is just like a lull. It's not really a wave 1 or anything. Maybe it's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like, yeah, I don't know. This one, I'm targeting a um, pretty modest target. I mean, it's not really too high at all, right? I'm waiting for this one to get to a dead cat bounce level. Did we even get there yet? No, not even yet. Not yet. Like, do I even want to put a 236 fib level in here? Yeah, I'll put a 236. See, we're hovering just slightly above the 236. Um, yeah, we crossed over finally, okay? We finally crossed over on the EMA there. But I don't think it's really signaling any type of rally right now at all. It might spike up just a tiny bit, but 3... Okay, maybe there's one more wave down, perhaps, I'm guessing. So I just want to take my profit here very quickly. Because I think there's one more wave down, and I'm just going to buy it a lot cheaper, right? Rather than not, rather than minimizing, or sorry, um, rather than laddering. I'm just going to try to see if I can close off my position here very quickly. Because I don't think Bitcoin is actually going up right now. I think it's got one more, to, this is three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then one more probably around the 10,300 ranges right now. So that's always something to consider as well. So you notice that we're, I screwed up my chance already, right? I could have sold it earlier, made myself an easy $50, or sorry, $100. See, now now it's going up right now. 
So I'm a little bit confused about where the actual bottom is, okay? But I do know that this is a one-to-one. -one. This is weights one, two, and three right here already. Or this could have been one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, and then one, two, three, four, five. Like that could have been honestly it as well, right? So there's a lot of different ways for us to consider it. But the way I would see it is waves one, two, three, and then four, and then one more going down. So we're not quite there yet. There's a lot of pressure for it to go up right now. People are buying, as you can see, which is a good sign. There you go, there's more people buying. This guy's bought 10k, 7k here as well. Okay, so we're just going to keep analyzing it back and forth right here. People are selling off here, right? They're selling off pretty low. So I, I am asking myself, okay, well, if these guys are selling off, then this one will eventually follow suit right after as well, which is always what happens, right? These guys are purposely driving down the price right now. Practical analysis perspective, right? So we see people spiking up the price now, right? That's a really good sign because we're in very oversold regions on the 15 minute chart, I believe. So we're just waiting for this 15 minute chart to cross over, which is happening very, very soon here. We got a bullish engulfing candle that ended up forming there. And on the five minute, 15 minute chart here as well, we got another bullish engulfing candle here. Not really a lot of volume though, so it's, you know, it's, it's suspect right now. It's really, really spiking up the price. Let's see how far he can spike it up. Mine's at, mine's pretty high. Like I have to admit, mine's pretty ambitious, the target right now. Usually what it likes to do is, you know, on a five, five minute chart, it likes to target right around these ranges, around those. I, I should probably take this off here. That was just for the target. So what it likes to do is target the um, 3, 2 Fibonacci level, right? And then we just end up going down. But here it didn't even touch it at all. So it's a little bit suspect, you can say. You know, how far is that one going to go? We got to go down to the one minute chart now. See what's going to happen. Is it going to uptrend? Is it going to go up a little bit, right? That's a really big question as well. How much is this one going to go up as well? Let's go take a look at it. See if we can get it above that cap bounce level, perhaps. So here we're almost at 382, I'm guessing already. There we go, we're at 382. I'm targeting a little bit ambitious right now. I'm targeting the 110, the 10 over, uh, 1075 region, which I really don't think it'll hit there. We're struggling a lot to even break 545 already. So this is a kind of different type of analysis that I'm doing combined with my live trade, because I've got nothing to hide, guys. You guys know that. I'm the most transparent person probably on YouTube, I'd say. I feel like my life is in front of you guys, actually. Like, no joke, like, my life is kind of in front of you guys. I am so open and honest about everything, or try my best to be, right? Um, I firmly believe that we should always be honest, regardless of where we are in life. You can only fake it for so long, right? You cannot fake it until you make it. It doesn't work like that at all in life. I'm just having a sip of water. Give me a second. That was good. I only drink water. I have a cup of coffee here throughout the day. Big spike. Watch this spike come up, coming up, guys. Watch. We saw Bitcoin spike. Usually the other ones spike a few seconds later. Watch. Let's see if it'll spike. Not yet. Nope. Spiking. Spiking. Watch. This is just going to go... Push. You guys are going to see what I mean in a few seconds. Watch. I'm going to target right there at the 0.5 Fib level right here in front of you guys this one's really really going up right now okay this is going to the what 618 level right here already pretty decent little uptrend that we're getting okay there we go all my positions have failed here i've made 147 dollars in front of you guys so far at least let's see how much more is going to get filled 152 dollars there we go 88 There we go. Awesome. I made $169 in front of you guys here right now. Uh, this is <laughs> so easy to make money, guys. Like, honestly, to me, um, you know, take this however you guys want to, okay? I find making money in the market, like, so freaking easy, and I'm not putting you guys down at all. Don't take it the wrong way. I find this nothing but a glorified video game that I'm pretty damn good at now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just look at this and I'm like, oh, okay, this is the freaking video game. You just got to learn it. And yeah, 
check that out guys we hit the dead cat bounce level now and we're gonna downtrend <laughs> that's how accurate my tea is sometimes <laughs> yeah these guys are not gonna be going anywhere they're gonna get trapped because there's still one more wave coming there's still one more wave coming down like come on guys <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um and no, have you guys noticed like you guys lost right here i sold my 1061 because i targeted exactly the 0.5 fibonacci level Right? I targeted exactly the 0.5 Fibonacci level, and now we're down ticking already. <laughs> so that's called skills right there, guys. So, let's get back to our technical analysis now, where I made a live trade in front of you guys. Thank you for watching that. I appreciate it. I'm going to close my profit right here and take it in front of you guys. Okay, I'm going to take my little $169 profit that I made in, since the beginning of this video, actually. How long has it been now? 11 minutes. It took me 11 minutes to make 100 and... I don't know. I forgot already. I honestly don't keep track of my profits, guys. It just kind of sits there. At the end of the day, I just move it back to my funding account, and that's it. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. For this, it's, It was kind of like a mix-up of a live trading video with um, with uh, a technical analysis and just playing how to play downtrends in general, right? Just how to play a downtrend. That's like one of the most important skills that we got to have because a lot of people like to pick it up. Right, they like to. Well, by the way, it's it's like an uptrend a little bit now, just so you guys know. Right, we're on the one, two, three, four, and then there's gonna be one more coming down here as well right now. So I'm not really too concerned. They can just uptick a little bit, sure, whatever. But it's gonna eventually come back down anyways. So I just want to give you guys a combination of technical analysis with a little bit of live trading, with also showing you guys how I play downtrends like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you sometime in the future. Bye now.